Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Clark, and a couple weeks ago, a company called Stringjoy reached out to me and they asked if they could send me a few of their strings to try out. Now, they're not sponsoring the video or anything, but I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to kind of talk about my own string journey because I was one of the many guitar players that kind of believed the myth that big, thick, heavy gauge strings sound better, that there's more tone because there is more metal. So I wanna talk about why I went from playing 12s all the way down to playing nines. And there are three main reasons for this, and those are my technique improved, my dynamics improved and my tone improved. So when we talk about technique, you probably just think, okay, well, you can just build up strength to deal with heavier strings. And that's probably true for some people, but I found that having less resistance actually allowed me to kind of smooth out my bending and vibrato. So what I mean is like when I would bend, I would have to apply a lot of strength to kind of get the bend to where I wanted it to go. And then once I was there, I was applying a lot of strength. And then when I would release, it would just be like these big, heavy motions, right? So for example, playing something like this would be a lot harder because I wouldn't have that little bit of control to add those little nuances to my playing. The same thing would go when I would play something that was a little bit more physically challenging. So if I'm playing something with a stretch like this, I'm really not having to apply a lot of pressure. And when you're making those bigger reaches, what happens is if you got a lot of resistance kind of fighting against you, it's hard to make those sound clean. At first, I found myself really bending things out of tune very easily. When I would play and I would like play a chord, for example, I would notice that I was bending notes a little bit out of tune. And that really is a technique problem. That was something that I had to go through and fix because it's something that never came up with the heavier strings. Overall, it just caused me to kind of have a lighter touch and for my playing to become more efficient. And I think one of the coolest things about the guitar is that you have all the in-between space between your notes, right? You're not just locked into. You have all that space in between and with the lighter gauge strings, it's a lot easier to be able to do what I call micro bends. I, I, I'm sure they have a better name than that. So I'm gonna play a lick or a solo or something like that. I can add in things like this. and I'm not having to fight so hard against the guitar to be able to make those come through. I think ultimately when it comes down to technique, I just feel like I have more control over my instrument. All right, so the next improvement I saw was in my dynamics. I found that I'd kind of built up this bad habit where everything I did was I would like pick really hard, play really hard. Everything with my fretting hand was like big movements, a lot of strength involved all the time. And so going down in string size, all of a sudden it kind of opened up my dynamic range with my playing. I felt like I could add in these subtleties and nuances that I couldn't before because of that thicker string, which made me just want to dig in all the time. Now with the lighter strings, I do have to be a little bit careful because when I dig in too hard and I'm not being conscious of it, the string can go a little bit out of tune, but I feel like it's a good trade off for that wider dynamic range that I've found. And then the last Last thing was my tone improved. Now this one is incredibly subjective because obviously tone is relative to whatever you like, whatever artist you like and what sounds you wanna hear. But I would highly encourage you to watch Rick Beato's video about string size and also the follow-up video that Rhett Shull did about going down in string size. They do this big long comparison of all the different string gauges side by side playing the same riffs through the same rig. And the lighter the string gauges got, the better the mid-range sounded, and the better the bottom end sounded. It tightened everything up. And now this is gonna depend on the guitar, the amp, so many other factors, but in all cases, the lighter gauge did sound better. And I think seeing those videos was really a confirmation for me to like, I had bought into this whole heavier gauge string sound better. That's why you just got to learn to play them, strengthen up your fingers. But it made me feel better going down to the lighter gauges because to my ears, it did sound better. I think it's important to always remember how guitar is supposed to fit into a mix, right? So having all of this extra kind of loose bottom end that comes from thicker strings, quite often is gonna get trimmed off by your mixing engineer or whatever front of house guy because it's just stepping all over other frequencies from other instruments. And if the lighter strings have a more pronounced kind of defined mid range, then they kind of have an advantage. So I just wanna encourage you to go out and maybe try some lighter gauge strings. I have tried eights before, they're too light. It just didn't feel good. For me, nines are perfect, but maybe for you, it's tens. I don't know. Go out there and try different things. To be honest, like with guitar, pedals can be so expensive and amps and guitars can be so expensive, but strings, 
while not that cheap, are relatively cheap and a relatively cheap way to kind of experiment with your sound and your playing. Before I go, I kind of just wanted to quickly talk about Stringjoy. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. They just sent me their strings to try out, but I thought I'd just give you kind of some of my impressions now that I've played with them for a few weeks. So I've used Diodarios for like six years and I've been perfectly happy with them. Just the regular XL nickel wound uh, nines, obviously, are what I use now. And I've never had a problem with them. I've never felt a reason to switch. I've used everything else, DR, Ernie Ball, uh, most other stuff out there I've tried at one point or another, but for me, Diodarios just worked and I was happy with them. So Stringjoy has like this whole made in Nashville uh, with very high end equipment. They're very particular about making sure every string is perfect. They use high carbon steel and all of that stuff. And obviously that comes with a slightly higher price tag. So as somebody who's played just regular Diodario strings for years, did I notice a difference? The answer is, yeah, I did notice a difference and I actually plan on switching to using Stringjoy and that's really what's kind of inspired me to make this video to talk about strings. So I have very sweaty hands. It's an issue I've had my whole life. So I eat through strings really fast. I get one gig out of them. And when I'm playing at home, I maybe get three or four days out of them before I feel like I wanna change them. I always make sure to like clean my strings after playing, but it's just the corrosive sweat. I don't know, it's really annoying. But something that can be a pain is when I restring my guitar, there's always that settle in period. So obviously they sound great right away, but they go out of tune pretty quickly. You've gotta stretch them in. It takes a little while. With the Strat, obviously everything's kind of balanced. I use a floating bridge. So it always kind of takes time. I have to play, retune, play, retune. With the string joys, it was tune up, do one quick stretch, and they were perfectly in tune and they stayed in tune. They also are lasting significantly longer. And this is a big one for me. Now, if I'm gigging, I'm probably not gonna notice a big difference because I'm always gonna want a fresh set right before I play. And obviously they're gonna be all stretched out and good for the show. But when it comes to kind of playing at home or if you can get multiple gigs out of a set of strings, these last like, I would say two times as long, maybe even a little bit longer than that. I found like at home, I was able to go easily a week and they still sounded great fresh enough that I didn't feel the need to change them. Tone wise, there's not a huge difference. I think like most guitar strings, if they're nickel wound, they're probably gonna sound like other nickel wound strings. I would say there was they were a little bit louder in the little test that I did back and forth, but ultimately not enough to really impact my decision. And then one other cool thing that you can do with Stringjoy, and I think this is probably like the biggest win compared to anything else out there, is that you can completely customize your string set and it's not gonna cost you like extra money. So you can go on their website and you can pick, I want this width for my E string, this for my B, this for my G, and you can even pick and choose if you want like a wound G string. So let's say you have a Gibson guitar which has a really hard time keeping that G string in tune. Something a lot of people will do is they'll put a wound G string on there. And what you can do is instead of needing to go, okay, I'm gonna buy this one very specific set of strings because it's the only ones with a wound G string, you can go in and completely customize, well, I want this exact width for my wound G and everything else to be like that. And I think nowadays when we have so much that's customizable with our pedals and our amps and our guitars, it kind of makes sense to be able to really find that perfect string tension for you. So I like nines, but I don't like how the G, B and E strings are all a little bit unbalanced tension wise. Well, with Stringjoy, I can specifically pick out my tension for my G and B string so that everything just kind of feels right for me and especially for like that specific guitar. Now this week I did do a comparison between Diodario NYXLs and the Stringjoys because they're kind of in the same price range and they're kind of trying to do the same thing like a more premium string. And I would say the Stringjoys and the NYXLs are pretty on par. They both kind of tune up faster. They last a little bit longer. They're a little bit louder than the regular nickel wound strings. But from my experience, I found the string joys did all of those things just a little bit better. And you also have the freedom to be able to customize your set. So for me, I think that's a big win. I'm gonna keep using string joy and I'd encourage you to check them out. Like I said, not sponsored, just something I think you might like. So I'll end this video with a question. What kind of strings do you use? And did you find that your string preferences changed throughout your years of playing guitar? Leave your answer in the comments below. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. With that, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next one.